We're now going to discuss how to review ATF Form 3 when receiving NFA firearms. Form 3 is utilized when NFA firearms are transferred from one SOT licensee to another, such as when a manufacturer transfers inventory to a distributor or dealer. Form 3 transfers are tax-exempt, may contain multiple NFA firearms, and may be completed via ATF's eForms portal. When NFA firearms are received by your business, information in question 1 should exactly match business entity documents, FFL, and SOT license as issued by ATF. Information appearing in question 1 will be utilized for any subsequent Form 3 or Form 4s completed for these items. When your business is purchasing NFA items, information recorded in Question 2A should exactly match the business entity documents, FFL, and SOT license as issued by ATF or the company from which these NFA firearms were received. For Questions 3A through 3H, validate information for every NFA firearm received exactly matches information as engraved on item. Information appearing in these questions will be utilized for any subsequent Form 3 or Form 4s completed for these firearms. Validate information provided in Questions 4 through 5B exactly match your business's FFL and SOT license as issued by ATF. Review information in questions 6 through 7b to assure recorded FFL, EIN, and SOT exactly match licenses as issued by ATF for the company from which you are receiving the NFA firearms. Review questions 9 through 11 to verify transfer has been approved by ATF. Acquisition information recorded in your A&D book should exactly match information recorded in Question 3A and Question 2A on approved Form 3. Date of acquisition recorded should reflect the actual date items arrived on your FFL premises. As a best practice, it's highly recommended at least two team members validate information in Form 3 for all NFA firearms received. Additionally, Form 3 should be referred to when preparing all subsequent transfer documents. 